When I think about shame, I divide it into two broad categories. Shame is, is this, this feeling where we, we look at ourselves and, or, or we have this feeling that of, of inadequacy. We look at something and the memory of that thing, every time we experience it, makes us feel bad. It gives us a negative sense of self. Now, as I said, I, I have kind of two ways that I think about shame. And, and the first thing, the first kind of shame that I think about is shame where we, we look back on something we messed up. We didn't do well enough. We, uh, we, we you know, we tried and we failed, that kind of thing. A, a shame where we hurt someone, we upset someone. Christians use this word sin, which means that we, we have something in our life where we just feel, do you know what? That thing, that way of living, that way of behaving, that thing I did, it wasn't up to standard. OK, so that's the first kind of shame. Uh, and actually, that shame, I think we can always move on from. Because if we recognise that, that people for, can forgive us and for, for Christians, God can forgive us, then we know that, that we can move on and do things a different way in future. So that's the first kind of shame, a shame that, that believe it or not, with, with support and encouragement and affirmation, we can move on from pretty easily ourselves. But the other kind of shame, and I'm going to call this toxic shame, Toxic shame is a shame where someone in our past didn't like themselves very much. And so they made a decision to make us feel pretty rubbish about who we are too. They tried to do something, say something uh, or make other people think things about us that brought on a, a toxic shame about just who we are. Things like uh, racism is a toxic shame, making people feel ashamed because of their racial, eth because of their ethnicity. Something like talking about, I don't know, the, th this isn't trivial, the colour of someone's hair, saying that because of your hair colour, you should be ashamed of who you are. Things like saying, ah, oh, because you have a particular disability, you should be ashamed of that disability, of who you are. Sh toxic shame is saying to someone, this is who you are. There is no way you can change it. And it's not good enough. Who you are doesn't measure up. So what's the antidote to this toxic shame? Well, I think that, that the first step in overcoming it is recognising it, that recognising that that's the kind of shame we're suffering under. If you know, and really think about this here, if you know there's nothing you've done, nothing you've tried out and failed at, no mistake you've made, no person you've hurt that's making you feel shame about your identity, then you are living under and suffering from toxic shame. And I just want to encourage you today, if you recognise that, if you recognise that, that's the first step in saying, do you know what, I don't deserve to feel ashamed because of who I am. As a Christian, I believe that every person who exists in this world exists because God wanted them to exist. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. All God's works are wonderful. How well we should know this. It's Psalm 139, amazing verse. And so I want you today to recognise that who you are is never someone you should be ashamed of. You made a mistake, you messed something up, you hurt someone. Yeah, do you know what? Shame is a tool in those situations that helps us to be better in future, but never Never keep on carrying that toxic shame that someone else at some point in your life has put on you that says just who you are is shameful. It's a tool of oppression. It's a tool of degradation. It's a tool people use to try and get other people to submit. And no one deserves to live under the prison of toxic shame. So I pray today, I pray that you will be free of any toxic shame that someone has put on your life and you will know that who you are 
is good enough and the way you live, even if you've messed up in the past, can always be different and better tomorrow. God bless you. The Lord be with you. And may you never, ever live under the curse of toxic shame. See you soon. Uh, actually, why not? Uh, if, if you've enjoyed this, why not comment uh, below? Uh, maybe maybe put down, uh, you know, something else that might help other people to to overcome shame, to, to live free from toxic shame. Uh, maybe there's a, a great quote you've heard, a great Bible verse or, or something like that. But why not comment below and encourage other people to be free of toxic shame? See you soon.